Hey ladies, happy payday. I've had a lot of questions today um, about commission reports and where to find it and a lot of questions regarding commissions, justifiably so. We've had a lot of new consultants that have joined us over the last couple months. So I thought I'd, a little video would be helpful, especially for those that aren't local um, to their sponsor on where to find everything. Um, when you want to look for your commission, first of all, commissions are paid out on the 10th. You need to make sure that all of your parties have been settled before the last day of the month to make sure that you get credit on that for the next month's commission. So that's just a little of a forewarning there before we get into this. All right, there's two places you can check for your reports. Under reports, you can check for your commission under financials. When the financials come up, it's going to look like this, and you just press commission detail. A separate window will pop up, and I'm not going to pull that up, obviously, for um, personal reasons, um, but if you click commission detail, that will pop up, and that will tell you, down to the last penny, how you got your commission. So once you have a team and you become a manager, things get a little bit hairy on that. Um, my detailed commission report is eight pages long, um, so it really does break down to every penny um, how you got your commission. Um, you need to make sure that if you're using this route, that you have your pop-up blockers off. It will not show up um, without that, so keep that in mind if you're looking from your phone as well. The next option that you can do is payment reports. And again, I won't pull that up, um, but if you click this button, you will have a list down here and it will show you the date, it'll show you what you um, are getting for commission, and it'll tell you if it's going to e-wallet. So if you check your bank account and um, there's nothing in your bank, um, it could be because A, it hasn't been posted yet, so that'd be a question that you need to ask your bank. Um, it also could mean that you have set it up to go to e-wallet. If you have it set up to go to e-wallet, your next best bet is going to be going to the resources tab, and then you're going to go to training, and then down here, how to use an e-wallet with a balance. Then this is going to pop up, and it's absolutely all of the instructions along with the images to explain to you about e-wallets how to pay with e-wallet, um, it's all right there. So e-wallet um, is a little bit more confusing, so if you decide that that's not something that you want, um, you'll have to um, you know, let customer service know that and you know, change that with your back office. The next um, thing to keep in mind is if you have not set up a debit card in your um, in your account, so you have replicated site info, home office profile update. Make sure that your um, debit card is in there that you want to be paid on because if it's not in there, it will automatically um, be put into your e-wallet. So th that might be an issue too if you're not seeing your commission right away. And finally, for commission you know, related questions, always feel free to contact customer service. Um, that number is on your consultant manual that you got in your kit. And they're always wonderful and very helpful to help walk through things with you. Um, if you think you're missing something um, or whatever the case may be, always feel free to give them a call as well. So hopefully this kind of helps some of you new girls see where you find your commission information at. And I hope that you all enjoy your big old fat checks because you girls definitely earned it. So hopefully this is helpful to you.